Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Dell 17-inch laptop. Let me turn it around and show you the model number. So the model here is P32E or P32E001. I believe this is the Inspiron 5000 series and the screen itself is 17 inch diagonal. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and show you the keyboard. This is how it looks like. And that is the screen. So here the screen is just a bezel. I do not see any screw that holds onto the bezel. So more likely the bezel here is actually uh, double-sided tape that tape onto it the very easy way to 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 get it removed is you need to have a prying tool stick it in between that I usually start with the very corner and that would be the weakest point stick it in and try to lift it up once you have a good amount of bezel that is not intact you can actually go ahead and slightly separate the clipper and also the adhesive some of them are heavy adhesive double-sided tape on it but some of them are not so I'm not sure if this one really have any adhesive on it to me it doesn't seem like it so but for your case if you have it that's all right you just have to slowly pry it open Okay, at this point here, so the bezel is actually attached to the base of that. I would separate them and that's how you remove it. Alright, so this part right here, the bottom here, it was still attached to the bottom of this. So that's how you separate the bezel and let's put the bezel on the side. At this point here, you can see that the uh, screen is exposed so this screw right here on the top left the two screws on the top and the two screws at the bottom those four screws are actually holding onto the screen go ahead and remove the screw oops by the way the screws are just a regular Phillips screws so any Phillips screwdriver would able to do the job here. All right, at this point, once the four screws are removed, go ahead and tilt the screen towards to you gently. And when you lift it up, do not pull the screen away yet because the cables are still connected. At this point, this is the cable that you can see. It is still intact with the uh, with the little tape that tape onto it. So go ahead and pry open that tape. And once you have the tape ready, there is a clipper. So this clipper here needs to be open in order for you to remove the cable. So let's go ahead and get the clipper open so I flip the clipper away from the connector and I'm sliding the connector the cable away from my body so slide it out to that direction once the cable is removed your LCD screen is actually ready for replace so if you're curious to find where the LCD model is or where you can buy them so this is the NV173F HM N41. Alright, so this company makes this 17 inch LCD screen. So this one is a mated screen, it's not a glossy. Uh, I'm not really sure if your laptop is a glossy screen, but this is the mated one. Now, I do not have the new screen with me, but I just wanted to show you the process on how to replace the screen. Assuming this is the new screen that came in. And I'm ready to install. So to install the screen is very easy. It's just a back 
uh, back process, the backward process to do that. All right, so let get the new screen here. So the first thing you want to do is to connect the cable back onto the new screen. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the clipper is open. And once the clipper is open, go ahead and slide the cable back into the screen. So I'm sliding back towards my body. So once you feel like the cable is pushed in all the way and the clipper would securely fasten that. So press it down and you can hear the little click. Once the click is done, go ahead and slightly pull that little tape and use the tape to put some pressure to pull the cable inwards for you. Okay, so the cable will sit exactly uh, perfect at this point. Now once you have the cable installed, go ahead and lift the screen back up. And I like to sit the laptop down like this so you can see the process. At this point here, you can go ahead and put in the four screws. The four screws would be here. Alright, so once all the four screws are in place, so one, two, three, and four, now the next step is to put the bezel back on. So it's very straightforward. I like to align them on the very top. So I aligned it on the top corner. So this, this is like a clip on. So once you have the clip in the right position, press it down, it would clip it. Once the clip is all done, just go ahead and finish up the rest of the bezel here. Tuck it in. And finish up pressing it down to clip it. Alright, so if you like the video, go ahead and um, you know share your comment that if, if this video was helpful, that was able to help you change out your broken screen, I would like to hear your comment and say, oh, thanks a lot. It really helped. The video helps me to replace my screen. That would make my day happy. And you know, if you subscribe and click smash the like button, that way itself would also uh, makes me happy, motivated to make more of this computer repair video for you in the near future. But if you have any question, please do not hesitate to, to write the comment below. I'm more than happy to answer those questions. I'm more than happy to help you. Uh, just talk to me and I look forward to hear your comment. Thank you and I appreciate. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.